Hey, what's up everyone? Today's video is going to be pretty quick. I wanted to take you through the new ROG Ally drivers. That's 23.8.2, which just came out before Starfield to fix some of the crashing issues and is available on ASUS's website, but not currently showing up in the My ASUS app. So as of the time of recording, these drivers are something that you'll have to manually download yourself. I'll drop a link in the video description if you're interested in them. Before I get into the performance tests, I can confirm that this did fix the Starfield crashing issues. I did experience the crashing issues probably every 30 seconds on the old drivers, but I haven't had it crash a single time since I've updated. So if you got the early access to Starfield, this is one that you're definitely going to want to check out. But today's video is mostly focusing on how it's affected other performance, so let's take a look at it. Our first test is Forza Horizon 5, so let's take a look at the settings I use. So I use 1080p. I had the frame rate set to 120, although I should have went uncapped, but it didn't affect the results. And I had anti-aliasing turned off. And for the graphic settings, I have them set to the minimum, so they're at very low. For each test in this video, I conducted them three times and I'll be presenting the averages. So let's take a look. And as you can see for Forza Horizon 5, it does seem that the old drivers were outperforming the new ones in pretty well every category. If you take a look at the average FPS, we're about two down at 15 watt and about four at 30 watts. Our our minimums are also lower as well as our 1% lows. If you're someone that plays Forza Horizon a lot, unfortunately this will mess up the performance a little bit, although it's not so dramatic that it's going to be unplayable or anything. Alright, let's move on to our second test which is God of War. For God of War I did the same thing, I ran three sets of tests for each TDP on both sets of drivers. And once again I'll show you the average of the three tests. And looking at the results, the old drivers do outperform the new drivers, but it's so minimal that I would just consider this a non-issue. But it does seem to confirm that the old drivers did seem to perform better for some of these other games. Next up, let's take a look at Cyberpunk. And for Cyberpunk, you already know the drill. I did three tests for each TDP, and I used Afterburner during the benchmark to get the results. Speaking of results, let's take a look at them. And here on Cyberpunk, they seem to be running very slightly better on the new drivers. At 15 watt, the 1% lows are looking a lot better. But aside from that, the performance is pretty well identical. Taking a look at these last three games, you can see it's a bit of a mixed bag. Cyberpunk is very slightly better on the new drivers, God of War is slightly worse, and Forza Horizon seems to be the one that's most impacted by the new drivers, unfortunately in a negative way. But in the end, who really cares about those games? Let's take a look at every handheld owner's favorite game. So let's take a look at our Time Spy scores. And looking at the results, unfortunately the new drivers have dropped both at 15 watt and at 30 watt. Not by a dramatic amount, so it shouldn't have that much of an impact. And that's all the tests that I have for you today. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you are planning to get the early access to Starfield, you'll definitely need these new drivers to get it to run. I'm going to guess they'll show up in the My Asus app, probably around the official release date for Starfield. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.